Before you configure the advanced approval workflow in Informatica Analyst, configure the following settings in Informatica Administrator. Create and enable the associated data integration service. Configure the workflow orchestration service properties. In this demo, we will log into the Analyst tool as a Business Glossary Administrator to configure the approval workflow for a glossary. Data stewards can publish assets either after a simple approval or an approval workflow process. When we enable the approval workflow, the data stewards must publish assets after a voting process. The approval workflow consists of two levels of voting. The approvers that we assign when we configure the approval workflow vote for or against the asset changes depending on the level they are attached to. Approvers can also abstain from voting. We will now create a glossary. Click New from the header area and select Glossary from the list. Enter the required fields and then click Save and Continue. Click Asset Approval Configuration to configure the approval workflow. On the Asset Approval Configuration panel, we will configure settings for approvers. Default Approvers Choose default approvers who receive a notification when the data steward proposes the asset for voting. The default approvers vote in level 1 of the approval workflow. Note, you can also modify the default approvers for the simple approval even if you have not enabled approval workflow. In this demo, we will select asset owners and asset stakeholders as the default approvers. Enable voting for asset changes. This option enables or disables the approval workflow. Settings for Level 1 Approvers We can set the reminder time and escalation reminder for the approval workflow for Level 1 Approvers. Approvers receive a notification to vote if they have not voted before the reminder time. In the escalation period, the data steward can replace approvers who have not voted or assign additional approvers. Either the replaced approver or the original approver can cast their vote. Let's set the voting reminder before end time to 4 days and escalation interval before end time to 2 days. Note, the voting reminder before end time must be greater than the escalation interval before end time. Enable level 2 voting. This option enables the level 2 approvers for the glossary. Level 2 approvers are additional approvers apart from the default level 1 approvers that we select. We will now add level 2 approvers. Click the actions icon and then click add from the list. The add approvers window appears. Select level 2 approvers from the list of users or user groups. In this demo, we will select 5 approvers and then click OK to complete the task. Settings for Level 2 Approvers The reminder time and escalation reminder for the approval workflow for Level 2 Approvers depend on what we set for the Level 1 Approvers. However, we can still custom set the reminder end time and escalation end time for the Level 2 Approvers. After we have set the reminder settings, we cannot change the settings later. Now, we will set the voting reminder before end time for level 2 to 3 days and escalation interval before end time to 2 days. We will now click save and finish to complete the task. The analyst tool updates the advanced approval workflow configuration settings. That completes this demo. To summarize, we logged into the analyst tool as a business glossary administrator. We created a glossary and configured advanced approval workflow for the glossary. In the configuration settings, we assigned level 1 and level 2 approvers for the glossary. We also set a voting reminder and escalation reminder for level 1 and level 2 approvers.